play number 10, we have Steven Goskowski game winning kick against the Steelers. Oh, wait. He missed it. <laughs> Only undefeated team in the NFL after week six. Let's go. What's happening, everyone? And welcome to week number seven of the NFL season. We got our top 10 plays. I will warn you, we got some wild ones. We got some different ones. <laughs> oh, Daniel Jones. All right, sorry, I apologize. No spoilers. As always though, huge shout out to the fan art. If you want to send anything, there's a PO box in the description. I love getting stuff from you guys and showing off your talents. At this point, it seems like we're zooming by. We're in week seven, almost halfway through the regular season. It's kind of sad in a way because I don't want it to be over. Let's forget about that though. Let's go ahead and have some fun or pain and agony and try to recreate these things at play number 10 daniel jones the golden tate over Craven leblanc former golden ticket mossed him and broke the tackle to score a touchdown after re-watching this it was pretty much four verticals we are gonna have to flip this though golden tate should be on this red route if you look at the substitutions he is hold on before we go any further does this dude's head not look like a chia pet bro come on now this man is growing literal grass on top of his dough no 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 <laughs> Uh, I hope this works, though. We're going to substitute him with Craven LeBlanc. I just want to make sure Golden Tate's streaking. LeBlanc's on him. And I know the exact animation that we're looking for. For anybody that tuned into this game, you would know what I'm talking about. But that was probably about 1% of you. Honestly, though, like, I don't think anybody wanted to watch this game. But as a lot of you know, there were some top plays and fails. I can't decide whether the, you know, the, you know which one I'm thinking about. Okay. We'll see whether or not he's on the top plays for me this week or not. Uh, come a little bit later. I think I just spoiled it. So what I'm doing is putting the outside receiver on an out route. See, okay. So that was not bad. Not what he did though. We can do better. I know we can. There's a specific Moss animation where he goes up, breaks a tackle. Does a little, you know, you know, a little breakage. By the way, while we're on the topic of the NFC East and the sad matter of fact that one of these teams is going to make the playoffs, who do you think that it's going to be? We got the New York Giant failures, the Washington Trash Skins, the Dallas Cowgirls, and the Philadelphia Mockingbirds, Tweety. What bird is weak and tiny and <laughs> forget it. Here's the thing though. They all stink and one of these teams is going to take up a playoff spot in the NFC. Oh, that was way too far outside. Oh, okay. So I'm bringing all the uh, defenders out on the blitz just because I want to have this one-on-one -on -one situation. Looking at it, really not a bad idea because I got to throw the pass early anyways. Come on, Golden Tate, bro. This is, see, he's kind of tiny. So I think I need to throw it kind of behind and high. <sighs> nah, I can't count that. That, <laughs> that would be unacceptable. Let's be real. Every catch that he gets... It's like a diving catch. Oh, if he breaks that, if he breaks that, if he breaks that, that's it. That counts. That's good. That's a broken tackle, a moss of some sorts. We're going to count that. We're going to like it. Not bad either. Let's get it. Come on, roll that replay. Extra man on the rush. Passes downfield and caught. Tate. Touchdown. The next play coming in at number nine, Tom Brady, absolute dart, back left corner, Scotty Miller in coverage, got his feet down and got the catch. Ball was somewhere like right here-ish. I'm kind of just estimating a little bit. Nonetheless, we got a boy Scotty Miller out left. <laughs> out of all receivers though, was he really the one that had to catch this? Uh, if it was just Mike Evans or Chris Godwin, imagine how easy that it would be. <laughs> Okay. All in all, I'm counting on this one not being one that's going to be too tough. We just throw in passes like that. Right in that area, we got to just come down with one, you know? Here we go. We'll try three, though. Come on, Scotty. Get out there. Okay, he's a little bit slow. Our biggest problem, I don't think we're going to be able to beat him off the ball. I expect you to be able to lay in that pass exactly where it needs to be. Oh, <laughs> did he catch that? No. Oh, he it got picked. <laughs> that's so funny. Granted, there's no way that that one would have counted. The catch would have been so far off. Why? Is he missing those throws? The worst part about it is whenever he misses the throws to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, no. Wait. Does that... That was good, right? That was... Wait, hold on. I need to see if there was tighter coverage in that. I feel like there was. Yeah, 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 kinda. I feel like we gotta get the loft. Come on. Need to get the ball out left, though. Really tight. Ah, foot was out. That's it. Possession was his foot in. If his foot's in, that is definitely it. The moment of truth. Want one. Great. Great. Way to fail me. This is exactly why we can't have nice things. Give me some accuracy right here, will ya? No, oh, he clamped us. Oh my, okay. Uh, can we get that loft on it? Nope. Oh boy. Bruh. Wait, hold on. Did he just go like that? 
for the interception. My guy, whenever their guy caught it, I'm pretty sure he did. And this is the guy that we have catching our pass or trying to. Wow, this one is definitely tougher than I thought it was going to be. Possession catch, snagged it. Yeah, I, I think that's good though, honestly. The coverage was there. He was all over him right after he caught it. Let's roll the replay for Scotty Miller at play number nine. Raiders to get a stop. Brady, deep shot. To the end zone for Miller and it is caught for a touchdown. At play number eight. I'm just going to give this one to you, all right? A.J. Brown had a super long touchdown, all right? It got the Titans back in the game, kind of, even though the Steelers had it in the bag all the way. So I'm trying to find the right play, and I think this is about as close as I'm going to get. All right, here we go. It was play action. Going to hit A.J. Brown on a slant, and he's going to be gone. I, I actually almost had it right away, but the Steelers' defense are so dang quick. All right, so here we go. I also switched up the defensive play a little bit as well. We're going to hit him on the slant and just try to run. Another fake to Henry. Davis. Catch the slant. Okay, that should be Minka. Why is that not him? Now, we just hit him on the slant and then we can run, which... Ooh, okay, so speed, an issue. So I'm calling about a million and a half adjustments here on this play. Bye, have a great time. Okay, that's just Tannehill for you. Yeah, I actually don't know what happened there. There's the slant. There's AJ Brown. Well, I'm about to get tracked, ain't I? Hey, yeah. <laughs> I did. At least I know that I have the play. Now, I do want to hit him kind of earlier. No, nah, but really, though, I feel like we're going to be able to get this really soon. There we go, AJ. Minka messed up. That's great. That's a really good one. We're going to run ourselves all the way in there. 74, whatever yards it was. We got it. It's great. This is over with. This play was irrelevant, but it, it had to make the top player. Else, I'm just the most biased person ever. Let's go ahead and roll it for AJ Brown. The Houston Oilers, and then briefly, the Titans... Tannehill on time, catch and run. A.J. Brown is a blur. Touchdown, Titans. At play number seven, I got to give credit where credit's due. Baker Mayfield had an awful start to the game. I can't believe he didn't get benched, but he ended up catching fire and had an incredible game-winning pass to Donovan Peoples-Jones. Tight coverage. While deserving a play seven. All I gotta do now is see if I can go ahead and recreate it. This is gonna be it though. Peoples Jones outright gonna have a great pass like that. I mean, if he catches that, which I wasn't even close, that's it. Hopefully we catch a little bit of luck with this one and just come down with a touchdown catch. By the way, probably our biggest problem with this one is not all well, that pass was awful, which I kind of feared in the beginning too. But our guy Peoples Jones is coming in at like a 66 overall. We're just gonna have to stick in there. Hopefully we can get that back shorter, feed in bounds in the end zone. But until then, the frustration is gonna keep piling up unless if we get it right there what a dot that's great too because there was a safety that eventually came over to make it look like it was more of double coverage that is great and that is pretty accurate on what actually happened let's roll for people's jones that took four tries i wish a lot more would go like that you gotta watch landry down the scene mayfield towards the end zone it is caught was he in yes donovan people's jones after that another game winner from two more spectacular teams Okay, you can tell I'm lying, right? Carson Wentz's incredible dime over the defender to four foot two. Boston Scott barely beat Al Baker Mayfield. It's just Boston Scott's three foot eight, four foot two, whatever it is. It's pretty insane that he fit in a pass to him. Let's get her going though, man. Good to know. We get to sub in our worst running back. This play's only 18 yards out, but still gonna be really tough. Big fella, why you over here? Yeah, you see that? See how that guy's a little bit taller than us? I feel like that is definitely going to be our biggest issue. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I gotta stop messing with this guy because he's a little bit short. Here we go again with another one. Get it out there on the sideline. Oh, possession. Like, I hate to say it, but I feel like the height. A little bit of a factor. Hold on. Did we get that one? Nope. I'm gonna keep trying. To get something that's just a little bit more accurate. Plus, again, pretty sure that that wasn't even a catch. Are you sure about that? Wait, he came down with that too? Moment of truth here. What? Zero. Big fat zero. If you wouldn't mind to stop trolling me at any time now. We've gotten so close a few times here. That would be it. That would so be it. I'm just looking for the perfect pass, which wasn't that. And again here. That's right area. Okay. See, I feel like the same thing's happening. So challenges like these. You just never expect it. That's all the time. Oh, there we go. That's it. For sure. I am glad that I said no to that other one because this one is so much better. Job gets a little bit tougher. Wentz throws. Pass is caught. Touchdown, Boston Scott. 
at point number five, I'm honored to do this one. There's a reason why this man is my favorite wide receiver in the league. Kenny Galladay seems like he catches everything, and he went up big and took a licking from a defender from the Falcons. Still came down with it. That, again, good enough for play five. And don't worry, everybody. I am prepared for this one to be a pain in the nuts. Yeah, okay. That's how it's going to be, and I know that. I am switching the defense to cover two man, though. It's kind of more of double coverage than anything. And if we can find ourselves a way to go up over top of both of these guys, then that's going to be it. Good chance here from Galliate. No. By the look of it, this one's probably not going to be it. I'd be correct. How about... Oh, boy. Make sure I get him to the sideline like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He took a shot. It looked like the defender tried to punch him in the dome. Up, 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 down, down. Very far down. Think about it. It's all downhill from here. The fact I haven't got one yet kind of bothers me. Wait a second. <laughs> What? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, okay. That was purely amazing. And this is where we cut the ball at. Like, okay. And now I'm going to just run out of bounds. But that's where we cut the ball at. And we brought it all the way back, like, behind the line of scrimmage. Them chasing after that ball, though, reminded me of that snake game that you used to play on your phone. Oh, wait. You guys are probably too young for that. Wow, my old. All right. Anyways, though. Still looking to go up big for this catch. What we do want, though, maybe more of a high point pass. Again. Him going up like that. Not it, Chief. So we get this catch. That's it. That's it. Sideline. Counting it. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Was it super accurate? No. I'm going to be realistic with you guys. It's like a five out of 10 on the scale of accuracy. But after doing this for seven weeks, I know what we can get and what we can't get. That's about as good as it's going to get. Trust me. They do, but it's picked up. And Stafford is looking around for help. Kenny Galladay hangs on at the 40. At play number four, we got a kick return. I despise kick returns. They're tough to get. They're tough to make accurate. But this is 102 yards. And if I kept it out, then I deserve to get a lot of hate. So I'm going to suffer through it. Byron Pringle, by the way. Not Tyree Kill. Not McCole Hardman. Byron Pringle. Yeah gonna be a ton of fun what we're looking for for some reason if you hadn't seen it this is nearly exactly where the kickoff happened at so if we get this how fantastic that would have been now if he kicks the ball all the way over to the right that's just like kicking me in the teeth i'm gonna reset that every kick brian just get out of bounds i don't really want kicks on that side though really messes with me doing this the right way and i know he's gonna kick it there like a butt ton of times like the look this could be it open up the middle for me blocking got to be there for a long time Pringle's kind of slow, isn't he? This kick was looking good. Oh, there was a gap, which closed immediately. Sherman, you are so slow. Little change of plans got him up the field quicker. Oh, why couldn't this just be Tyree Kill? My life would be so much easier. Oh, geez, where's the blocking? I'm happy to tell you that this one's not gonna work. Or this one, this one, this one, and that one. I'm gonna be here a long time, aren't I? This one's looking kind of spicy. Just kidding, I lied. How about Sherman? You hold a block for me for once. The middle looks open. Okay, we're good. That was starting right, kind of. Went left one. We got to get a little time. Just a little something, something for you guys. And we got the kick return with Byron Pringle. They won the big man. Here's the kickoff. After the 43-yard field goal, it'll be taken out by Byron Pringle. And he finds a seam. He breaks a tackle. The kicker to beat. Look at Pringle. Galloping free. He will go all the way. After that, play three. What a game. Cardinals versus Seahawks. Tyler Lockett. Really glad to know that I traded him away in my fantasy league a week before this. He had just an awesome catch. One-handed. Locked down by Patrick Peterson. Don't know how he came away with it, but I'm going to have to. This is going to be another one. This is going to stink. Let's be real. Let's go for it, though, because I don't have a choice. So we're going to have a little honesty thing here. First up. That's not Patrick Peterson. So to be honest, I'm an idiot. I don't know where I was at though. Uh, the catch, I'm not looking forward to trying to make this look good. I am going to try though. <laughs> Pretty much what we have here is absolute clamps from Patrick Peterson. I know that a lot of you guys probably seen the catch, but it somehow got behind him and Tyler Lockett had a one-handed diving catch. And again, we all know about getting diving catches on the sideline area, not to mention it's one-handed. So if we thought the Kenny Galladay one was tough, if we thought the Robbie Anderson one was tough, which it was, this is going to be an on another planet. And if I had to pick one, I'd probably say Uranus, the planet. We're talking about planets here. But yeah, I feel like we got a just far ways away to go to get this. And uh, hopefully, I don't have to back out. And by back out, I mean tap out. I do have a backup play that I can throw in here. 
But that's going to shift all of our rankings. It'll really mess things up, so I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. I'm having a hard time getting behind Pat Pete here. And he seems to be just a straight-up lurker. More inside. Probably not the answer because the safety's there. I need a miracle. No doubt. How about more of a lob, maybe? Wow, okay, we kind of got past him a little bit. How about this game, though, huh? I mean, I called it. Anybody follows me on Instagram, I picked the Cardinals to win. They won, barely. Don't know if they should have, but they did. And hey, for anybody that watched my tier list video at the beginning of the year, I put the Cardinals in A tier. And there was a lot of controversy because they were trash last year. But you got to give me some credit where credit's due. Are we going to be able to get this one hand to catch? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I got to check the replay on that because I'm pretty sure that Lockett came down with that one handed and it was tight coverage. Give me one moment here. We got to give this a look. Oh, wait, no, that looked like it was two hands. Wait, no, that's one. That's that's great. That's it. That's the next top play. Let's roll the clip. At play number two. Y'all know what it is. I mean, you want to call it a fail? Call it a fail. It's also an 80-yard run from a quarterback. I am excited to recreate this one, though, because if you run out of stamina, and you try to truck forward, I'm pretty sure that your quarterback is going to stumble and fall. And that is great because it's going to make it look super accurate. I'm expecting to come out of this one with no less than a 9 out of 10 for accuracy. Let's get her going. This is really going to come down to managing our stamina. We need enough to make it down to about the 20. And once we hit that 20 yard line, we want it to be completely gassed. Oh, completely away from us. Wow. All right. We're not losing stamina here. I feel like getting down there, though, is going to be such a pain. It'd be really nice if you wouldn't mind just reading Gallimin like once or twice. You're getting really annoying, buddy. Oh, I like the blocking. How am I gonna lose my... The stamina's not going down. Wow, it is nowhere near. How am I gonna make that happen? I can run maybe 300 yards and my stamina's still gonna be here. We are going to have... Slight change here. Hold on, let's see if we can fall over. Well, that's not good. He didn't trip. Oh, that's great. That scares me a lot now. So, wow. Why is my stamina nowhere near zero? I'm going to have to back out and mess with Daniel Jones' stats. All right, so what we're going to do is mess with our boy Daniel Jones real quick. We have to go down to his stamina. I'm going to put this from like an 84 to 50, and hopefully that's good. By the way, no kidding. 87 speed. If that's not the most underrated stat in this game, I don't know what is. This might be moment of truth here for... 50% stamina. Wow, what do I have to put this down to? 25? Obviously, 50 is not good enough. I'm going to put it down to 25. All right, now 25% stamina. That's like the same exact thing. I just wasted all that time. You know what? I've lost all hope at this point. It's going down to zero. Now that it's at zero, I have an opportunity. Okay. Block him? Oh, no. That's a problem. So what's supposed to happen is whenever your stamina is at zero and you go for a truck, they should stumble and fall over. And <laughs> what am I going to do? You know what? I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm downloading Madden 20 right now. 40 minutes later. Here we go. All right. You see that 84 speed? That's going up to 87 where he is in Madden 21. I don't care. In order to make my stamina go down. I get past. Okay. See how I'm tapping? Oh, that didn't really give the best example. If I tap the stiff arm button over and over again, stamina goes down. I took a lot of experimenting to figure that one out. I will be trying to utilize that to my advantage, though. But first things first, I need to see if we can actually stumble and fall over. I don't want to run down there and... Okay, let's see. That's it. That's it. That's what we downloaded Madden 24 right there. We throw that in with a run down field. And this is gonna end up being the best recreation that I've ever had. I feel like I have a little bit of a problem though because these guys are kind of quick and they're doing stuff like that. And the only reason why they're on field is just to annoy the crap out of me. And they're doing a great job. No, move out of my way. There's so many people. Stumble. Oh, why did he do that? All right, Danny boy, you can do this. The stamina's down this time. All right, as long as somebody comes to us, then we should have this. This should be it. Now, somebody come and tag us. Get me down. Yes. We got ourselves another one. That is accurate. That's hilarious. Play number two of the week. Should have been fail number one of the week. <laughs> From the 12, Jones keeps. Gets a block. Takes off and he is gone. Trying to stay upright and he trips. Absolutely. Zone and ends 
And now we're here at play number one. Well deserving, but such a different play as DK Metcalf's chase down tackle to stop the Cardinals from getting a pick six, which they didn't even score there on that drive. Now I know Seattle didn't end up winning this game, but the sheer like determination and speed that DK Metcalf showed was incredible. Obviously I'm gonna be pulling off two controllers here. Step number one, Buda Baker didn't run. So step number one was failed. I guess I'm just gonna have to try to switch on maybe. <laughs> Drake Kirkpatrick, you stink. You were getting burned all game. Now you get the pick. If Carson's here on the wheel, should be able to lob it, get the pick with Baker, run downfield, then switch back to Metcalf's controller, tackle him that way. The play is clearly going to be an absolute mess. Wait, hold on. Where's Metcalf at? No, that's the wrong controller. Oh! Oh, I am trying to... <laughs> Metcalf, Metcalf. If Metcalf chases him down here, this is so it. Oh, be fast enough, please. <laughs> We're going to come up just short. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Metcalf. Are we really getting outran by Russell Wilson right now? This is stupid. This is... I'm going to miss. Oh, he's in the end zone. And give me some momentum. No rush, no rush. Oh, this is going to be close. Move. You're making the play look stupid. Dang it. All right, so I know this is kind of off topic. Chris Carson, you should really decide to come back for weekend. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Metcalf's right here. This is going to be it. I think he's going to be able to chase him down, please. Oh, we're going to get this. Come on, Metcalf. I don't know when to dive. No. Yes. That's it. That's great. That's week seven, number one top play. With six different receivers, and this time he lost one. Buda Baker, Buda Baker out of the belt. Can Metcalf track him down? Can he chase him down? And he does to save a touchdown. But what a Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. By the way, shout out to everybody that guessed DK Metcalf as today's number one play of the week. If you want to get shouted out like these people, guess who's going to get the number one play in week number eight? Reply to my pinned comment. Last thing, if you haven't dropped the like yet and just want to show your support, please go ahead and do that. And if you didn't see any of the other recreations from all the other weeks, there's a playlist somewhere, or you can just go ahead and check back on the channel. With that said, you already know you're the best. God bless. Don't forget to keep him first. I will see you in week eight with those top plays. I'm sure they'll be great. Peace.